Welcome back to Income Trading 101. Today we are looking at the Venus uh, governance token, uh, symbol XVS. Uh, and today is June the 28th, 2021. And we have basically uh, not even a year this token was uh, was released or, or, or brought out uh, for sure on, on Binance uh, in October of 2020. And you can see it was flat. And then of course, uh, 2021 happened to everything. But look at what happened back here in May, right? This May drop that we see across uh, across various um, uh, tokens, uh, but they were not all hit the same. And this is actually really significant. And the question now is, are we have we reached some support, or is this uh, likely going to be a uh, uh, just a, a pause before another leg down? So, um, starting off, of course. With the moving averages, we can see that right now everything is in line for bearish markets. You've got a uh, 60 is higher than the tw uh, 20 day, higher than the 10 day. But let's go ahead and kick this down to the one hour. And at the one hour level, you're starting to see a little bit of a bid uh, come. You've got uh, 10, the 10 period is higher than the 20 is higher than the, the yellow 60 period, which ultimately means that we're uh, starting out a little bit of a, a bullish trend. So maybe there is. Uh, uh, some support coming in uh, at the 30 minute level we do see some consolidation I don't know if you guys can see that we see a little bit of consolidation happening with the 10 period dropping below uh, below the 20 period there um, so not uh, all perfect in paradise here and then at the uh, 15 minute level you go back to having a bullish setup so uh, both the one hour and the 15 minute were bullish with the uh, 30 minute being sort of a period of consolidation because the 10 uh, period was lower than the 20. And you can always look over here in the upper left hand corner to see the numerical value. You can see that the that the 20 is about seven cents, seven and a half cents roughly higher than the 10 period. Um, so let's kick it all the way back to the one day. We're going to take a look at some uh, some stochastics, a little bit of momentum uh, testing uh, using the MACD, moving average converging, convergence divergence. Sorry about that. Um, and for those of you who really aren't familiar with how these are calculated, I'll leave a link in the description um, for a video called How to Trade. Uh, it's a mini technical analysis course. The thumbnail says how to trade stock using technical analysis, but it's the same principles for cryptocurrency or any chartable asset so here this is interesting so back uh, in late February you had a, a bearish crossover um, in the MACD you can see it just barely uh, crossed into the zero it went from positive to slightly negative before pulling back higher and making another move higher and then we've had obviously in, in May we had a crossover um, that a sellish uh, a, a bearish crossover happened even before the May 19th uh, fall off, we have had a bullish crossover um, happen back here in June, uh, June the 3rd. The problem is um, this is just sort of uh, the line hasn't crossed the zero line, which to me is normally an indication that a pattern or a trend is going to continue. So I'm very uh, leery of that. You always have to know the strengths and weaknesses of your uh, indicators in your models. Let's do this. So that looked a little flat. I'm just going to spread that out. There we go. A little, a little easier to, to take a look at. So we had a bearish crossover happen in June. This is on the one hour, uh, June the 17th, which immediately crossed over into the zero territory, which would have been a great confirmation signal. And uh, it had it lower. Now it did get a bullish crossover. But you can see it never did cross the zero line. It did slightly for a minute here, but not both of them. I want to see both the blue line, which is the MACD line, and the red line cross the zero line. So go from negative to positive in this scenario before tailing back off or seeing before getting in the trade bullishly. So this actually could have been a very nice trade, um, assuming you didn't get the cross out, the kind of the head fake here. You could have stayed short this and. Uh, caught you know quite a few dollars uh, which would have been nice and as of right now we're in a we've got a bullish crossover happening 
uh, happened in June on this 22nd of June, and it did cross into the, it crossed into positive territory. Right now, we're hovering around the zero line, which to me is either you get one of two things: it's either continuation of the previous trend or just uh, consolidation. So we've got to wait to see what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and take a look at a smaller time frame, the 30 minute. And what's interesting is with the 30, I'm going to have to widen this out even more. Uh, with the 30, you had a bullish crossover happen on June 22nd as well, crossing the zero territory, and it still has been just sort of oscillating um, around the zero line. So to me, these are these are not periods that you would use the MACD for trading uh, time frame. And then obviously at the 15 minute, you just get ripped, whipped around so much uh, as far as buys and sells that um, I really don't advise using the MACD at that small of a level, but I do like it in the larger time frames, uh, one hour, four hour, one day, uh, one week, thinking can be really useful there. So let's take a look um, once I recalibrate these uh, axes. Uh, let's just take a look. We're going to start off with a little bit of Fibonacci retracement just to get a sense of where, how much this has come back. Um, so we're going to go from the tip top to the bottom and all the way over to the current price range. So you can see around this 78.6% level, um, this is interesting because this line played a little bit of resistance here, some resistance back in May. We also saw it play resistance. Um, I'm sorry, this was not May. This resistance period was in March, early March of 2021. And then later March 2021, before this uh, token went ahead and popped, and it, it played support, not resistance. I'm tripping over my words today. It also uh, has been intro, played a, a role in this early or late May uh, time frame too. You can see how it sort of supported price before falling through, and now it appears to be resistance. So uh, that 78.6% level acted as clear resistance on, what would that have been? The 17th of June, and now we are uh, lower. It's not unlikely that we will It's not unlikely that we'll end up, we could end up fully uh, retesting, retesting this, uh, this previous low. Let's see if we can get a few, get a few, um, a look at some support levels. So obviously there, um, I'm curious if this would have been another area possibly of support. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, uh, very, uh, I mean, I think if you could just short some of this, it would actually, uh, be really quite a bit, uh, different in trading, but, um, all these people exiting back in May, let's stretch that out a little bit so we can get a better analysis. Um, didn't necessarily help the scenario, but I mean, obviously when, when the world was falling, and I remember that very well, um, you end up having to decide what you're going to uh, trade, what you're going to hold on to, and what you're going to exit. So um, this little channel here is also really quite interesting. And even though we appear to have been, we appear to be kind of flattening out right now, um, so that could be a case for a little bit of a uh, you know bullish pop. Either that or it might just end up being another leg lower. So even if we were to pull up to say, well, let's extend this on over. If we extend that channel, that means that from here we could see a pull up up to say 23, 20, almost $25, which would be, you know, a few dollars higher than where we are right now. And we'd still, um, we still can end up heading lower. So I'd be very aware of bullish sentiment, but if you're trading this short term, remember that the uh, both the one hour and the 15 minute moving averages were showing uh, bullish. Um, I just fear that the overall trend is still uh, a, a trend uh, heading lower. So just you know keep your eyes on that. If you can make short term gains on up movements, fantastic. 
But if you end up, uh, you know, just know your levels. And if you end up, um, if we end up pushing higher uh, than some of those levels, don't take the head fake to, to, to buy in unless you're certain that we've, you know, crossed some levels. And one of the first levels I want to see is it beating, uh, passing the most recent high, which would be this blue line here at about $35 a share, $35.22. So otherwise, you know, we could go up there and then just go ahead and tank. I mean, this may end up, uh, this this $35.22 area may end up being a bit of resistance. So, you know, be aware, stay on top of things and uh, feel free to leave comments. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe. Really appreciate that um, as I continue to grow the content and I appreciate the comments I get as well. You guys are great. Thank you so much. Happy trading.